Hi everybody, it's Andy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a tote bag. Very easy. It's going to be the simplest tote bag in the world and I mean it. It's so beginner friendly. It's just very quick to make if you're not feeling like, you know, making a challenging project um, any time of the day. You just want to, but you want to feel productive and you want to make something and it's not going to take so much time. It's not going to take so many materials to make. This is the best project for you. It's very simple and easy to make. So here's my linen tote bag. So I'm actually making these to sell. Uh, and, you know, um, I'm going to be releasing them of course, only here in Dubai. I'll release them in a few weeks time. I'm just making sure that I have everything in stock and you know, it takes time to produce um, a lot, a lot of these. Although it does take, uh, you know, maybe an hour or 30 minutes to make one, it still takes so much time to make a lot. And here I've got this natural color you can make it in any size you like, any size of handle, but I'll be showing you um, the dimensions that we're going to make today. Here, if you want to get a little creative, this rainbow is um, felt, wool felt. There you go. That's one. I've got this one right here, a green one in I've used linen for all of these um, tote bags and yes, linen because that's going to be my, that's going to be part of my new collection. Yeah, so go grab your fabric, you, you, you know, it's up to you, you want to use linen if you have, if you want to just practice, this is your first time making a bag. Then grab something, a bed sheet, that, an old bed sheet, yes, that's perfect. Or uh, you can also use any cotton, uh, quilting cotton material that you have on hand. And if you're lucky to have cotton canvas, go ahead. Or just a plain, plain canvas. Yep, that will do. And this is not going to be with lining. So we're learning how to make without lining. So I... Definitely, um, I definitely recommend something sturdy, a bit thick fabric for this. Not stretchy, just non-stretch fabric. So, linen is perfect for this. It's just, it's just really good. Look at that. Right, we're gonna finish this in no time. Let's get started. So what are we going to need for this project? It's very simple. We only need the fabric, scissors, if you don't have the rotary cutter, you can use the scissors, and a ruler, any type of ruler here or tape measure, any sort of a measuring tool. Um, here I've already cut my fabric, so you're going to need two for the bag and two strips for handle. We're going to talk about the size of our strip. So here I've got four and a half inches. Okay, four and a half inches wide and 29 inches long. So that's going to be my handle and then you're going to do a double fold. So how you do that is go ahead and iron it. Iron it in half and once you've ironed it in half, open it up and then iron half again to, towards the middle and then again and you should have this and then fold it again and that is your double fold. So there, it's very easy. That's your double fold. And Prepare this by sewing 
a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Sew it all the way down. And then again on the other side, so all the way down. So I've already done that. And you should have something like this. So, so both sides all the way down. So do that on your two handles. Okay. So then set that aside. And then for your body, by the way, you can adjust the length of your handle, you know, whatever suits you. But I find this is the, the best handle for my um, purposes. So, you know, if you want it shorter, that's fine. You want it longer, that's fine too. Again, as always, I always advise everyone who watches my tutorials to watch from beginning to end before you go ahead and start cutting your fabrics, especially if this is your first time. Please watch the whole um, thing first and then decide what fabric or whatever you're gonna you're gonna do because maybe you'll um, you know we are bound to make mistakes so let's try and avoid some mistakes by um, making sure we've seen the whole tutorial okay um, here I've got a template um, I'm actually using a stabilizer for my embroidery I like it anyway so here We've got 16 inches wide and the length is 19 and a half inch tall. So that's going to be the back end. It will be like this. So as you can see, it will then shrink it down to this size. So the finished size of this bag I'm using the same template so my length now is 17 almost 17 and a half length and width is 14 and a half so that's just but feel free to resize this however big or small you want your toe to be um, this is such a really good you know um, project to make because you can always change the size of your project you can if you want something like that just a short and wide or you want it a lot bigger for a beach bag or something please feel free to do that it's not going to affect anything um, later on for the this tutorial it's just you know it's just the size of the bag you want to make but this is perfect for my purposes and i'm sharing it with you guys if you want to use this dimensions feel free to do that i'll try and um put the dimensions down below in the description box so you don't have to um you know if you forgot then you can just go back there um yeah so that's it so if you're like me you like templates i do love templates you know just trace it around so grab a piece of paper or whatever you have a newspaper cut it to the size you like and then cut your fabric that's how i've done it so here's my fabric so what are we gonna do first say you've already cut your pieces together okay so now put the wrong sides together so you just put the wrong sides together okay so this should be facing up if you have a printed fabric this should be up you should be able to see the print on here and print on there okay so now we're gonna go and sew half an inch all the way down and then once you've done that and then again half an inch all the way across so you've got three sides to sew let's do that so go all the way now 
Now I've reached the corner. I'm just going to um, keep my needle down and then there, I just move this foot down, go. Don't forget to back stitch. So there, just gonna take the pins out. Now you've sewed three um, three sides, and you make sure that you keep one side open, and that is, you know, that should be open. Right. So you grab a pen, and we're gonna box our corners. That's where you get this this box corner now if you don't want a box corner and you just want you know a flat um just a flat um bag then skip this process you don't need to cut any corners you can go ahead and skip this one but I do love a box corner, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to cut, let me just focus. You can see here. There. So here's my one inch square. Now, I'm going to then, because we've got our stitches here. You can see, if you can see my stitches. I'm going to start marking from the stitch and here's the stitch so not from the edge of the fabric no I'm going to do that on the stitch itself that's going to be my line so that's where I should mark my one inch okay it doesn't matter if it's um erasable or or not uh, you won't really see this and then mark again there you go and then grab your scissors don't use rotary cutter for jobs like this because you can't control the rotary cutter much I mean if you're a pro go ahead <laughs> there you go and now we're gonna and just adjust that okay now you can see you should have a body like this so you've got your corners there that's your box corner and then you've sewed three sides okay so now we're gonna turn it inside out so now we're on the wrong side of the fabric okay so you, this should be the wrong side of your fabric. Now you can go ahead and iron this flat. You just make sure the seams line up. Just roll it with your fingers. Because linen is, you know, creases a lot. This is really easy for me to just make a crease and that's sort of my guide. So this is now what we call French seam. I mean, not yet, but we're preparing for that. So there. So you do that all the way, or you grab your iron and then just flatten this. Okay, I've got it all creased now. Now what we're gonna do is to stitch from, um, well, the beginning up to the end, making sure that you stitch bigger than your seam. So that, so say that's a quarter of an Okay, so we're gonna stitch, making sure to cover the seam inside. So 
How do we do that? We stitch bigger than the seam. So for example, your seam is quarter of an inch, you just sew half an inch all the way down. So you can kind of feel it anyway. So you can feel it like that if it's, you know, bulky. So stitch it on the not so bulky side. So do that on all three sides. So just there and then all the way around. So let's do that. Okay, now we've stitched um, covering the seam inside. So there's your French seam. Now what do we do with the box corner? So turn it inside out. Okay. You should have this side. Now there's your box corner. Now nest your seams, meaning one seam goes to one side, one to the other, and the middle should match. So you get a nice matching, um, where is it, here. Okay, so let's you could pin that in place. Make sure wherever this went, this, um, this seam, if it goes that way, make sure that it goes on the same direction as the other one. Okay, pin that. Then sew quarter of an inch all the way there. And then quarter of an inch back stitching, sorry, back stitching beginning and end. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we've done it. Pin. We're almost there. Okay, so we've got that. Now turn it inside out. And then you guessed it, right? Poke the corners and then in and the same as what you did to three um, sides you're going to do the same thing just make sure you stitch bigger than the seam allowance in inside so to cover up that seam so maybe half an inch the other side Pin that in place and then just stitch half an inch. There we go. So that's stitched. Say when I said um, the same direction, the seam going to the same direction. So then it's not twisted. So it's all nice and neat. Okay, now what we do now is to just attach our handles okay got two handles here now how do we do that fold this like so just kind of eyeball it and then crease and iron is really going to help here Go to our ironing board. Okay, here's our ironing board. Here, just keep that away. Now, iron a uh, half an inch all the way around. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because I'm using linen, sometimes it just doesn't, um, it makes it a bit harder to make it straight. Okay, ironing makes it really flat. So now we're gonna then fold an inch. So one inch and then iron. 
You might be able to hear my baby in the background. <laughs> it's, it's almost dinner while I'm filming this. I bet he's hungry now. <laughs> so just do that all the way around. Okay. Linen is not the nicest um, fabric. I mean, it just goes, you know, creases a lot, and, but it's such a beautiful fabric. Give it a press. Right. So now, turn it inside out. Poke your corners out. You might be able to see, you know, just fraying. So just cut that off. That's fine. Okay. Right. Now, grab your ruler. I'm going to be using my small square. I have a three and a half inch square. So with this three and a half inch square, you now find... So find the, the seam of your fold and then match your ruler and then I've got three and a half inch, so find the three and a half from your seam here, mark it, and then do on the other side. So find your seam, that is my seam, line it up, and then mark it on the other side. Now, why did I do that? I'm going to grab my handle, and then put my handle me in a little bit. There. You can see there's my mark and there's my mark. So that's my guide where to put the handle. So I'm going to slide it in all the way to the top and then matching the edge of my handle to the line and then fold it up like so and then pin or clip just like that and then making sure this is not twisted so you just like that and then should stay like that and then do that on the other side so just the same like so. Now, do your test. Is it twisted? No. Perfect. Now, do exactly the same thing, basing from the seam here, marking your lines, and then inserting your handle. Let me do that. Once you've clipped or pinned all your handles in place, make sure I always do a test before I stitch it together. So I always try and test it out. Oh, yeah, I like that size. I'm going to do that. So let's sew it together. You might have guessed already. What we're going to do here is to sew the edge maybe a one fourth of an inch or a quarter of an inch all the way around including the handle so all the way around i would back stitch here 
a few times to just make it, you know, sturdy, stay there, um, make it really good so it doesn't just snap easy because that's your handle. Make sure it's a strong one. So all the way around. And then once you do that, you then unclip it or unpin it. Oops. Just imagine you've already sewed all the way. You then sew. Now this is up to you. You can either do a cross here or you can just stitch one line up there, which I normally just stitch one line over here a few times, a few back stitch. That's what I'm gonna do because that's kind of like my style. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There you go, I've done it guys. So you just have to clip your threads. Isn't this easy, like super easy, but you can make it look really elegant by choosing the right fabric and, you know, practice a lot. If you're not very sure, practice, 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 and then you're ready to start selling them. Um, you can look on Etsy how much they sell them for. Um, if you want something, a tutorial with a lining, I can definitely do that for you. Um, and yeah. That's it. There you have it guys. So you've made your own and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you've made your own successfully or if you're, you know, you've struggled, we have a community group on Facebook called The Makers. I'm going to link it down below. Feel free to join and we can, you know, share your ideas with each other or just, you know, if you have questions, we can answer them. And thank you so much. Here's all mine. The ones I've made, I'm sure I'm gonna make more, col you know, in different colors. But thank you for watching today's video, and I hope you have a lovely day. Be blessed and be kind to everyone. Bye bye.